This video is sponsored by Skillshare. What is going on everyone? My name is Jason and these are the Sony Link Buds one week later. Okay, wireless earbuds. It's probably one of the most saturated areas within the tech space. I mean, all you have to do is go on amazon.com, type in wireless earbuds, and you will be flooded with page after page of options to choose from. And the funny thing is, after a while, they all kind of start to look the same. And that's not too surprising. Ever since the iconic Apple AirPods were invented and become a massive hit, everyone and their mother wanted in on this space. And soon the hanging Q-tip design that people initially made fun of was virtually everywhere. So when Sony reached out a few weeks ago asking if I'd be interested in checking out their latest pair of wireless earbuds, I gotta admit, I was kind of preparing myself for the classic AirPods derivative with a bit of cosmetic enhancements that Sony would do and that's about it. But man, was I wrong. The new Sony Link Buds have to be one of the most unique and different pair of truly wireless earbuds that exist in the market today. I mean, you get that vibe as soon as you take a look at them and I've been using them over the past week and I gotta say, they've been just as interesting to use as they've been to look at. So today I wanna go over how my experience has been using these headphones one week later to help answer the important question, are the Sony Link Buds worth it? Now, before we get into the review, in case you're new here, I'm Jason. I would really appreciate it if you take a quick second to press that thumbs up button. It really does help out solo creators like myself get a little bit more traction on their videos, so please help a brother out. And in case you're a tech junkie like me, I make a video like this every single week. So don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can stay up to date with all the reviews. And before I get into it, let me know what your thoughts are on the new Sony Link Buds. Would you seriously consider them over something like the AirPods? Curious to get your thoughts, let me know what you guys are thinking in the comments down below. Okay, the first thing that we need to talk about is the physical design and form factor of the Sony Link Buds because they are truly different from anything else in the market today. And Sony sent over a really elaborate over the top package that made for quite an interesting unboxing experience. Big shout out to my cousin, by the way, for filming the unboxing. But after you get through all the bells and whistles, you finally get to this little guy. Now props to Sony as they are using recycled plastic for both the packaging here and the link buds themselves, which is a very environmentally friendly thing to do. It does unfortunately mean that you're not going to have a super premium unboxing experience with the earbuds themselves, but it is nice to know that a big company like Sony is taking sustainability seriously. And the first thing that you're gonna notice as soon as you take these out of the box is just how small and compact the link buds are. The case is pretty tiny and noticeably smaller than the AirPods 3 that I have for comparison, and you could see that it has a really simple design. Again, it's made out of recycled plastic. It has a matte finish that feels a bit flimsy in comparison to something like the tough outer exterior of the AirPods. On the back, you have a USB Type-C in to charge as well as a pairing button with a latch on the front to open the case along with a small LED indicator. Now, after using them for a week, I gotta be honest, the case isn't my favorite. It doesn't support wireless charging and no lie, it does feel kind of cheap. But those things I could live with and it's not the biggest deal, but my biggest gripe with this thing is that it's just not easy to open. You have to press this button on the front to release a latch and because this recycled plastic material is so slippery and with the case itself being so small, it's actually quite cumbersome to open. I wish it would just pop open on its own after the latch is released, but you almost need to use two hands every time you open this thing up and it's definitely not something you're gonna feel comfortable doing while walking down a busy sidewalk as the likelihood of you dropping them is gonna be very high. Now, once you open up the case, you get the link buds themselves and I'm just gonna come out and say it, they just look really weird. They get this figure eight type of design where this bulbous part houses the battery while this donut looking thing is the actual driver. So no doubt the oddest thing about this thing is gonna be the literal hole in the center here, which means that the drivers are shaped like a circle, which from a design standpoint is a literal representation of being open backed. They're made out of the same recycled plastic material that makes them super lightweight. They have these silicone ear fins that could be switched out for different sizes that help keep the earbuds in your ear. And when it comes to fit, they were totally easy for me to put on and they're quite secure. I'll do the standard shake test and you can see that the drivers aren't flying out of my ears and I've worked out with these and it's been no problem. Now, after using these for a week, my major takeaway when it comes to fit is that these are extremely comfortable to wear, but much like everything about the Link Buds, kind of in a weird way. Because of the way the drivers are shaped, when you put these on, it's really strange because there's nothing that's getting jammed into your ear canal, so it kind of feels like you're not wearing headphones. Pair that with a light weight and you could legit wear these for hours and not get any ear fatigue like you would with a pair of silicone tipped earbuds that seal up your ear canal and it's extremely comfortable. They also have a really low profile look, especially nice if you're not a fan of earbuds that have stems and overall when it comes to fit, the Link Buds are pretty solid. 
Now, before we get into the unique features and functionality of these headphones, and trust me, there's some weird stuff here as well, I wanna give a big shout out to today's video sponsor, Skillshare. Skillshare is a massive online community where you can learn real life skills from real life people who actually use those skills every day. Now, one of the main reasons I love Skillshare is because of the wide range of subject matter that you're privy to, especially when it comes to being a better content creator, something that I wanna make sure that I'm working on all the time. And the class I'm taking right now is called YouTube Success, Script, Shoot, and Edit Videos with none other than the GOAT himself, MKBHD. I'm a huge fan of Marquez. I mean, he's a major reason why I started JSL Review and to be able to learn from him directly is not only like a dream come true, it's actually super valuable. In the class, he breaks down his approach to putting together a video from start to finish, which includes planning, researching, writing, filming, etc. And I'm straight up surprised at how much I'm taking away from everything he has to say, even though I've been in the tech YouTube space for over five years now. And what's great about Skillshare overall is that I can take the class at my own pace. It's well organized into these bite-sized pieces and it's super easy and convenient to review a particular part as many times as I need. I have unlimited access to the full portfolio of classes offered on the platform and it's constantly being updated with new and relevant content being taught by the best subject matter experts. If you've been wanting to start your own YouTube channel or finally learn that skill that you've been putting off, May 2022 the year to invest in yourself. And as a way to help the first thousand of my viewers to sign up using my code JSL Review or using the link in the description below, we'll get a one month free trial of Skillshare so you can start exploring your creativity today. Become part of this amazing community of continuous learners. Join Skillshare today. Okay, next, let's talk about functionality and features. And again, the link buds are just so weird in this category. So let's talk about the basic stuff first, starting with battery life. The link buds on a full charge can go about five and a half hours before needing to re-up, which is okay, but honestly, I kind of was hoping for more. As they don't have features like active noise cancellation or transparency mode, I was hoping more to get like six to seven hours on a full charge, but honestly, it's not the biggest deal. The case itself can provide an additional 12 hours of juice and what's nice is that the case does support fast charging where a 10 minute charge will give you around 90 minutes of listening which is pretty great. Now where it starts to get really unique is with the onboard controls or in this case the lack thereof. So there's no buttons on the link buds themselves to control things like play pause, skipping tracks and though they do have touch capacitive capabilities, double tap to pause and triple tap to skip to the next track, you can also use something that Sony calls wide area tap where you can literally tap the side of your head instead of the earbuds themselves to get the same controls. And as weird as this is, it works surprisingly well. And I gotta say, I really like this because I'm not the biggest fan of touch controls on earbuds as they often lead to accidental touches or breaking the seal in your ear. So this is a really great and cool way to control what you're listening to. But let's get into the main thing that I'm sure all of you are curious about. How do these crazy looking earbuds actually sound? And I'm really sorry to do this, but this is a totally honest answer. They sound really good, but kind of in a weird way. So the first thing that you need to understand is that these are open back headphones, which is gonna do a few things. Number one, it's not gonna provide a seal around your ear canal, so you're gonna have sound leak, which isn't ideal if you're on something like an airplane trying to zone out. The engine noise isn't gonna go anywhere, even when you have them on. Now that's an extreme negative example, so let me balance that out by saying that the link buds give folks like joggers who often want some semblance of what's going on around them, the ability to hear their outside environment, which can definitely be a nice to have. And the main impetus for having open back headphones is that it can help provide a more robust listening experience. You often get better sound separation and clarity to the components of the audio that you're listening to. And I'm happy to say that the link buds really deliver on this area. When I first put these on, I was worried that the sound wasn't gonna be immersive enough with this design, but when listening to music, the audio almost feels like there's a speaker in your brain and it's honestly kind of trippy because it doesn't feel like you have headphones on. And one of the first things I noticed was how clear and clean the sound is. It's noticeably more natural compared to something you get with closed back headphones and it's a different type of listening experience. You get a wide sound stage that when paired with the organic ambient noise around you, you can hear the actual individual components of a song better. Like there's a clear separation between the vocals, the drums, piano, each sounds so much clearer and natural. If you close your eyes, it almost feels like you're at a live concert. Now I will say when it comes to the open back design, you're not gonna get that big bounce on the low end. So if you are a bass head, you're probably gonna be yearning for more. But I don't wanna come off as me saying that the bass is bad on the Link Buds. It's actually very clean and balanced and blends in very well with the other components of the sound. And if you want to, you can download the Link Buds app for your phone and they do have different audio presets that will let you adjust the sound profile. 
The one labeled Excited is my personal favorite and I've spent this entire week listening to songs that I've listened to all the time and I swear, they sound different with these on and I hear a lot of things that I didn't hear before. I'm honestly surprised at how good the sound quality is. It's kind of hard to stop using these once you've started, but the quality is going to be dependent on what type of environment that you're in. The louder the environment, the less enjoyable these become. Plus, some folks want that extremely immersive, take you to another dimension type experience that earbuds with active noise cancellation can do. This is not going to be able to do that, especially if you're listening on, say, a bus or a busy city commute, so something to keep in mind. But if you appreciate something like music production and all the elements that go into a song or just really want a clear, natural sounding pair of earbuds that will still allow you to be aware of your surroundings, the Sony Link Buds are pretty fantastic. So one week later, I've been really impressed with these and again, I wasn't expecting too much so it's been a pleasant surprise, but there is one component about these headphones that really doesn't sit well with me and that's the price. The Sony Link Buds cost $180, which to me is quite expensive, and if you compare them to say the Apple AirPods 3, which are also a pair of open back truly wireless earbuds that cost the same amount, to me the Link Buds are just overpriced. And my reasoning for that really comes down to differences in build and features. For example, the AirPods are just built tougher with more premium build materials, which I do understand may not be as environmentally friendly as what Sony is using, but definitely more durable overall. The case has a way better design that's easier to use. It supports wireless charging and gives you significantly more battery life. You also get the H1 chip for a much easier pairing process. Little things that add up that the Link Buds just don't offer. Now, when it comes to just sound quality, Sony does offer a more unique experience that I personally enjoy more than the AirPods 3. But I do wish Sony priced these more around the $129 range to make them a little bit more accessible and a bit more competitive in this space. Because other than the price, I think the Link Buds could be one of the best, if not the best sounding open back pair of truly wireless earbuds in the market today, which I'm kind of shocked to say. But hey, that's just me and I want to know what you guys think. What do you guys think about the Sony Link Buds? Do you think they have a chance of making a splash in the hyper saturated wireless earbuds space? Or do you think they're going to die a quick death? Let me know what you guys are thinking in the comments down below. Okay, that's about it for this review. Don't forget to leave me a thumbs up if you guys found it useful. Again, I'd really appreciate it. Check out these other reviews if you're looking for more, and I'll see you guys in the next one.